This YouTube channel has uploaded over 630,000 videos and you would never guess the reason why. Webdriver Torso is one of the strangest and most well-known mysteries on YouTube. Created on March 7th, 2013 and having over 600,000 uploaded videos, this channel quickly became the subject of numerous conspiracy theories. But what exactly is Webdriver Torso? What are these endless videos of simple shapes and tones and why does it exist? The first video uploaded to the Webdriver Torso channel is titled Aqua. This video was uploaded on September 23rd, 2013 and it features red and blue rectangles on a white background accompanied with high-pitched beeping sounds. But this was just the beginning. Over the following months, the channel uploaded thousands of similar videos at an alarming rate. It was said the channel was uploading at least 400 videos a day. The time difference between the uploads is usually between 1 and 20 minutes and never more than an hour. Except for 3 videos, all videos follow similar patterns. Most of the videos are 11 seconds long, although they can be 1 minute, 5 minutes, 10 minutes or 25 minutes. Almost all are slideshows. The 11 second long videos have 9 slides. Each slide is about 1 second long and consists of a solid white background overlapped by two solid color rectangles, one red and the other blue. Both rectangles are randomly sized, shaped and positioned on the slide. When the two overlap, the red rectangle always appears over the blue one and on rare occasions, the red rectangle completely covers up the blue one. Each slide has a random computer generated wave zone. In the corner of each video, it says aqua.flv hyphen slide and then a number with four digits. Early videos were called aqua, which was then changed to TMP, an abbreviation for the word template or temporary, followed by random characters. The channel has four unusual videos that do not follow the channel's standards, featuring instead internal references or jokes. On October 9th, 2013, an irregular clip was posted. In the video, we have what could be our first clue of the supposed web driver. The video which is titled 00014 is the most viewed video on the channel and is a 6 second piece of footage recorded in Paris that shows the Eiffel Tower being lit up at night. At the end of the video, the camera is put down and the WebDriver Torso's Facebook page is visible for a few frames. Below the video, WebDriver has left a comment, their only known communication with the world. Matei is highly intelligent. In another of the unusual videos titled TMP RKRL85, presumably standing for Temporary Recruit 1985 or Template Recruit 1985, plays normally until the red rectangle becomes a silhouette of Rick Astley dancing in the second half of the video. referencing the recalling phenomenon that was extremely popular at that time. The other video titled in decimals is only viewable in France. It requires a payment of approximately 2 euros to watch and is only payable with a French credit card. It apparently shows an episode of the American adult cartoon Aqua Teen Hunger Force dubbed in Spanish. The video is currently private. The last unusual video titled 16th November 2020 shows an iMac and a desk. The video was recorded as an office. The video was only 2 seconds long. It was quickly deleted within a day after it was uploaded. As the channel grew, so did the speculation about its purpose. People across the internet started forming theories to explain the bizarre content. One of the most widespread theories was that WebDriver Torso was part of Kakeda 3301. The combination of the cryptic videos with the use of the phrase highly intelligent in the Matei comments led many to believe that WebDriver Torso was part of the ongoing Kakeda 3301 recruitment puzzle. Kakeda 3301 had previously posted messages with hidden codes in an attempt to recruit highly intelligent individuals, so WebDriver Torso was thought to be part of the theory and mystery. 
Another theory was that web repository was being used by the government or intelligence agencies to send encrypted messages. The idea was that the rectangles and tones contained hidden information that could be decoded by someone with the right tools. This theory gained traction due to the channel's sheer volume of uploads and the seemingly random nature of the content. Some people thought that WebDriver Torso was some kind of avant-garde art project. The randomness of the content and lack of any clear pattern were seen as a deliberate attempt to create something abstract and thought-provoking. Another theory suggested that the channel was part of an alternative reality game or some kind of virtual marketing campaign. ARGs often use scripted messages and puzzles to engage audiences, and the bizarre unexplained nature of the WebDriver Torso videos seemed like a perfect fit for this kind of storytelling. On October 23, 2014, the Daily Dots Brennan O'Connor tried to track down the video's creator, but to no avail. Whoever was behind the YouTube account ignored his messages and didn't respond when The Guardian attempted to contact them either. But O'Connor did find a company called Selenium that makes a product called Selenium Ice, which has a function called WebDriver. The channel shares part of his name with Selenium WebDriver, a tool used to test websites. A member of the Selenium WebDriver development team, however, denied it had anything to do with the clips, telling the news site that they might as well be uploads from aliens who use YouTube. The strange shapes and sounds were seen as an attempt by extraterrestrials to send a message to humanity. While far-fetched, this theory gained a following due to the channel's mysterious nature and lack of any clear explanation. On May 2, 2014, The Guardian claims to have the solution to the web driver mystery, reporting that it saw Vargas, a New York-based software tester, recognize the videos from a conference on automation that he attended one year earlier. However, this theory is quickly shut down after Vargas tracks down the people who gave the presentation at the conference, a British company called UView. They explained that some of the videos in their presentation were similar to web drivers, though not identical. Then, in May of 2014, a breakthrough happened. 28-year-old blogger called Sogeto Ventuno came along and in a week did what thousands had failed to do before him. He solved the web driver torso mystery. Sogeto Ventuno was one of the early online investigators who delved deeply into the web driver torso phenomenon. He explored the possible connections between the channel and various theories, such as it being related to espionage, data transmissions, or even extraterrestrial communications. First, he determined that WebDriver Torso belonged to a YouTube network called YT Upload Test Partner Down Hyphen Torso and was registered in Switzerland. Once Ventuno's investigations were published, a Google Plus account associated with YT Upload Test Partner Down Hyphen Torso linked to a random Facebook page and a Twitter account, both of which have since been taken down. The removal of these links were too late as Ventuno had already garnered enough information from them to take the next steps. Sugeto managed to link the account to a number of Google Zurich employees. The Facebook account mentioned Johannes Leitner, a Google employee who happened to be friends with fellow employee Matei Gruber, who was based in Zurich. Matei was a name directly mentioned in the Eiffel Tower clip referenced earlier, one of the only four clips that is in blue and red shapes. Ventuno then compared scenes from pulled videos with Google Zurich photos and noticed matching things, indicating that the pulled videos were recorded at Google Zurich and that the channel and all similar channels were run from Google Zurich. He found that the videos were being uploaded from the IP addresses associated with Google and he even managed to contact a Google employee who confirmed that WebDriver Torso was indeed a test account. This employee explained that the channel was used to test YouTube's video quality and performance, particularly in different regions and on different devices. WebDriver Torso, he concluded, was just a testing software. The videos were designed to test how well YouTube handled different types of content and ensuring that videos would look and sound good no matter what device or connection was used. Google then confirmed in a statement that WebDriver Torso was an internal testing tool. When asked about WebDriver Torso, they replied, we're never going to give you uploading that slow or loses video quality, and we're never going to let you down by playing YouTube in poor video quality. That's why we're always running tests like WebDriver Torso. 
This is a reference to Rick Astley's song, Never Gonna Give You Up. The account going viral was just an accident, though once it happened, Google was more than happy to play into the fun. With the Google connection revealed, the mystery of the web driver Torto was largely solved. The channel was not a spy communication tool, an art project, or an alien message. It was simply a testing tool used by Google to ensure the quality of videos on YouTube. But why did Google choose to create a public channel for this purpose? The answer lies in the way YouTube's infrastructure works. By uploading the videos publicly, Google could test how the platform handled different types of content in a real-world environment. They could see how the videos were processed, compressed, and delivered to users across the globe. This allowed them to identify any issues and make improvements to the platform. The random titles and cryptic content were a byproduct of the automated testing process. The titles were generated by the system as part of the test procedure and the videos themselves were created by software that generated different combinations of shapes and sounds. Even more interesting is how this wasn't the only channel like this. The YouTube channels WebDriver YPP, Ekaterina Basic, and WebDriver IVPE all have similar content. So WebDriver Torso wasn't the only channel which was being used for YouTube testing, but it ended up being the most popular channel. As of now, the latest video uploaded by WebDriver Torso was on November 1st, 2023.